So here we have a quadratic function. We know that the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. So the first thing we can find out from this equation is the vertex since it's in the standard form we can find the vertex of the parabola by comparing um, the given equation with the standard form of the parabola which is y equals a times x minus h the whole squared plus k so h is 3 clearly because the signs here match um, we need to make sure that the signs match so we write it as plus negative 7 so that tells us that k is negative 7 right so hk is 3 negative 7 which tells us that the vertex of the parabola is 3 negative 7 however we need to find out if the parabola opens upwards or downwards and the way we determine that is by looking at a since a is positive we know that the parabola opens upwards. So this is what it looks like. So at negative 7 on the y-axis, that's where we have the vertex. The line that passes through the vertex, the straight line, the vertical line that passes through the vertex is the axis of symmetry. So x is fixed at 3 in that vertical line. Let me use a different color. In this vertical line, x is fixed at 3, right? Um, y changes, but x doesn't. So therefore, x equals 3 is the axis of symmetry. Uh, so the line of symmetry is the vertical line that passes through the vertex. <clears throat> now, the next thing we need to determine is the domain. The parabola is a polynomial, so the domain is all real numbers. We can plug in any real number into the equation of the parabola and we get a valid answer. So domain is always uh, positive infinity to negative infinity. Now in this case, the range, notice is, so this is all possible values of x, and this is all possible values of y. So that's the range, all po possible values of y. Notice that the parabola opens upwards and the minimum value of the parabola is negative 7. So that's the smallest value of y because the parabola exists only above this line. So therefore, the range is negative 7 to infinity because the parabola opens upwards. It keeps going on and on. Um, it increases uh, continuously on the left and on the right. So the range of the parabola is negative 7 infinity. Now here I have an example of a parabola with uh, vertex 2 comma 3 and it opens downwards which means the a is negative so that's when we know that the parabola opens downwards the axis of symmetry obviously is the vertical line that passes through the vertex so the x is fixed at 2 because the x value is 2 so x equals 2 is the axis of symmetry now the domain is obviously all real numbers because the domain is all possible values of x and remember that it keeps going in both directions so therefore all possible values of x are covered. However, notice that this is the maximum value of uh, y and the maximum value of y is negative 3. This is the max. The graph doesn't exist above the line that I've drawn here. So the maximum value of x is negative uh, or the maximum value of y, I'm sorry, is negative 3 because the graph exists below this. So all the values of y on this parabola have to be less than negative 3. So in this case, the domain is all reals, so negative infinity to positive infinity. That's the case for all parabolas. The range 
Remember that the maximum that it hits is negative 3, which means it goes from negative infinity to negative 3.